Simply Don, the podcast network. Just put that on my knee or over here. Is that a banjo you're putting on your knee? Ah, check, check, That's check. That's funny, right, Mole? You check. get it? Oh, right. Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me. Yeah. Come from Alabama with okay. me. Okay. Oh, knee, 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 fool. It rained all night today. I left the weather. It was dry. I'm going to do that, Susanna. Oh, Santa, don't you cry. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I'm going from Alabama with the banjo on my fucking arm. On your knee. The banjo on my arm. Uh, on your fucking knee. Arm. What? On your knee. Ah, uh, you would say on your knees, dude. Unless you want to have the Everything banjo on my that... pee-pee. <laughs> what tune you want to do, dude? What's that? You want to do, Josie's on a vacation far away. Come on, you talk it over. There's so many things that I want to say. You know, I like my girls a little bit older. I just want to use your love tonight. I don't want to lose your love tonight. I know this tune. You know this song? Sure do. This is Rivet. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Don, the podcast network studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. Hi, once again, I'm your pal, Don Barrett. I'm your pal, Walter. Walter who? I'm trying to be funny, Tom. I'm Scary Barry. <laughs> okay, completely stupid. Yeah, but he's Fucking doing... pissed is what I am. Why are you pissed? That fucking movie. Shut up. We'll get to You're talking about the movie you had to review yeah. this week? What? <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> with the fucking <laughs> phone? Guy, somebody's calling. Hold on. Put it on. Hello. Oh. Are you, are you doing the show? We're doing the show. We just started the show right now, Matt. What's up, Matt? Who's Matt? He's a fan of the show. He's a fan of the show, and you worked this so you could have him talk on the show? I He called up. I told him to call in 30 minutes, and I guess this is 30 minutes. Right, Matt? I mean, the reason why I wanted to call up was because I am, in fact, having an affair with Terry. Oh, whoa. whoa. You're not fucking you. Whoa, whoa, Matt. Unbelievable, Scare Master. That was me. very brave of you. That was like Todd Glassian. Wow. Fucking faggot. What a way to start the show today. Unbelievable. Fucking faggot. Now, if you've never heard our show before, we were the stars of the cult film classic, Windy City Heat, and now we have our own podcast, and we have been shot out of the gun with a bullet. Holy crap. Way to start the show, Perry. Yeah, a lot of that you're stuff gay. going on. Oh, my God. We do have a What'd big show. What did you just show. say? What? Did you just say that I'm gay? I'm just saying there's more room in the closet. And I would also like to say... What? First thing first, and we didn't really talk about this last week at all, but now it's time. What's going on with Cookie Caramello? The plug has been pulled. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Drum roll, please. He's still alive. He's still alive. Okay. And how much money are you going to make? I'm not making shit. You're not in his will? He's got nothing. What do you mean he's got he's nothing? He's got nothing. Did you get any of his old sailor stuff, like his hammock or anything? What? I would double check and see what kind of money he has. Dude, he's got nothing anymore. Is that what they said? That's what I've been told. I okay, one, by who? I know who? one thing he has. I know one thing he has that's that? super valuable. What's that? The secret recipe to cookie caramellos. Whoa. Whatever. Good point. Oh, really? So Famous Amos would be like whatever. Or um, Kentucky Fried... Um, Chicken. Fucking, uh, chicken. Kentucky Fried Kentucky um, Fried Chicken Colonel Stooge. Sanders. Yeah. Excuse me. Who's he married to now? Karen. You should ask Karen if you can get all his Navy stuff. On the open market selling that? I, the big three fans will go crazy I doubt if he has that. anything left. You should definitely check that. They're not going to give you any money. I think they're conning you is my point. Oh, now, we have a big show today. And last week... We talked about Mole and his, let's say, special powers. Well, then what we did is we took our money that we got from the $10 shoutouts. I put in Wait 25. Wait a second. Which special powers are you talking about? You, that, cause it, it's my brother who took the animal hormones and lives in the forest. With, 
No, I'm not talking about that. It was I was actually talking about how you predicted what would happen in the Super Bowl. And then last oh, week, right, right. Mary Jane, myself, and you, the three of us put our ten dollars shout outs of twenty five dollars down together. And what Did you, you do yours too, Scare Master? No, he didn't do that. I don't have any money, man. Okay. We just put our... our well, I want you to hear this. I want you to I'm hear this. Perry, with... shut the fuck up when I'm talking. You went and you put in a 10-team with upset parlay, did you not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, for those Multiple of you that, upsets. Right. So if you're not familiar with that, you have to pick 10 teams. They all have to win. Two of those victories have to be minor upsets. Then there has to be at least one that's a major upset. And what are the odds on that, Mole? Do you remember? I think it was like 650, 620. 650 to 1 odds. Well, let me tell you what you did. You picked UNLV over Air Force yep. in college basketball. Sure. Win. Georgetown over Villanova. Win. Yeah. Duke over Virginia Tech. Win. Kentucky over Vanderbilt. Win. Yep. North Carolina over Virginia. Yep. Win. Wichita State over Drake. Win. Rutgers over Seton yeah, Hall. Yeah, I knew that one. Win. Then, wow. in your minor upset, you went St. John's over number 18, Notre, Notre Dame. Notre Dame, yeah, because the Fighting Irish, you know, the Irish, glug, 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 and that just, was they were ready, they would do. But and Seton Hall has like six eligible players that played, I think, or something like crazy like yeah, that. Yeah, but you know what, they were ready, they are super hungry. Well, that was a win. Then your second minor upset, you went number five, Kansas, over number three, Missouri. That was kind of a gimme. Well, I don't know if it was a gimme, and it's, you know, it was a major upset or minor upset, five over three. That's not that big. You got that. And then in your upset, you picked Georgia. Bulldogs. Over eating in- up some gators. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You picked an unranked Georgia squad over the number 11 ranked Florida Gators. That gave you a perfect 10 team with upset parlay. Oh, my Mary God. Mary Jane, I haven't told you this. But the three of us, with our seventy-five dollars at six hundred and fifty to one odds, we made on that seventy-five dollar bet for the three of us forty-eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars a piece. Nice. Congratulations! Wow. I could get used to this. Let it ride. What, Mary Jane? Let it ride. Do you want to do this again? Like put the whole forty-eight thousand on. Another $48,750. Put that on another parlay for next week. And today's $10 shout-outs. I'll do that. Let's let it ride. Well, let's see how much we get in the $10 shout-outs this week first, okay? This year, a lot of people will be celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Randy Callahan Perry oh, experience. Christ. And that date that that happened, write this in your calendar, June 26th. June 26th. This year, the holiday falls on a Tuesday. Why do you call it a holiday? It's not a holiday. Not it's, yet. I think oh this God. year, I, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's because of the podcast has gained such popularity, but I'm telling you, I'm getting people all over the country talking about how they're going to celebrate the big holiday. So It's not a holiday. It was the grossest thing that ever happened in my life. No. Okay. Uh, I guess... <laughs> One guy's garbage is another man's prize. Uh, and that's what I think is happening here because I think people are really behind this thing. Mole, what have you heard about it? You know, I just, I, they don't know if there's going to be a tree or some kind of candle lighting ceremony. Or what? what? But apparently oh, they're in negotiations with, to get Christine Applegate to be at the, uh, the national party. That would be wonderful. That's fucking it, stupid. It makes sense. I mean, and you know, they're having it. Uh, to hatch a pee. Really? Yep. <laughs> oh, God. I got to tell you this. What would be great, and it might not happen this year, but maybe on the 25th anniversary, I know that he's not doing very well, but to get Randy Callahan there would be just fantastic. In five fucking years, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. Are you saying a recreation? That would get people. Like, it would be like a passion play. It would be like when William Shatner goes to a Star Trek convention. It would oh, be unbelievable. Yeah, no, they- it's not like a William Shatner going to a Star Trek convention. It's like a straight guy going to a faggot convention, being molested by a bunch of fucking faggots, like that fucking film that you made me fucking Okay, watch. we'll get to your thing like in a Like you se- fucking faggots oh. in this fucking show. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, is, is that a phone call? Could you please send that call through oh, for it? us? 
Uh, but, Hello, uh, do guess who? Oh, hi, hey, Mr. Adams. Hey, it's hey, you how again. Is the hottest podcast this side of podcast. Yeah. We're perfect. Uh, we're pretty good. We're not doing good. Perry, Perry, might... Let me ask you: How is your pater doing? How is has Papa fully recovered? Is Who's that? Your dad. Your dad. Your dad. Oh no, he's not uh, fully let recovered. Say, let me just say: Let me. Just, this is he's all just too heartbreaking. It's too heartbreaking. Thank that you. Poor, for... poor man who who gave his life to a country of inbred mountaineers who even Perry himself refuses to recognize by standing for its anthem. Okay. Yeah, yeah Perry, yeah. not really cool He's when not you cool think about it. Not cool dude. You hate America. A, I don't really hate America, you fuck. Get, you now, just... Listen, listen, listen. Back to the lecture at hand, all right? Perfection is perfected, so I'm going to let him understand. Oh, I get Gents, it to Jay. I need your help with Walter. What I do... Walter, listen. Uh, don't do me a favor, Walter. Listen, listen. Don't listen for a moment, okay, Zs? You got okay. All right, gents. As you two know, Mole is in training. Right for the LA Marathon. He's talked about it a couple Spot times. Spot on, Mister Barnes. Now, I would like very much for Walter to let me train him at my gymnastic facilities. His stature as a celeb could lure more gents in. Are you familiar with my new gymnasium? I've never heard of it before. Where's this? Well, let me tell you. It's strictly an underground club right now. It's called Board Shorts. It has nothing to do with surfboards. In this instance, we are all bored of wearing our shorts. Yes, yes? Yeah, I don't oh, even God. know if Mole would be into that. i got to be honest with you. I Mole, take your fingers out of your ears yeah. real quick. What's up? Do you want to go to Mr. Adams? No, gym? I don't want to go to his gym, dude. Well, Not to board shorts. He was worth a try. George. Worth yeah. a try. Yeah. Worth. Anyway, I'll still toss in a rib tickler. Yeah, uh, tell a joke, dude. Ready? Yeah, tell one. What happens to the jogger who oversleeps? He runs late. <laughs> These get worse every week. <laughs> they really do. All. See you later, Mr. They're Adams. Really bad. Yeah, he was talking about I'm um, jogging. You guys going to come down to support me in the LA Marathon? I know I'm going to. When is it? What, what? It's, it's March 18th. Yep, we're definitely going to. I don't know 18th. if I'll be able to. Be we're going to definitely do it. We got to film it. All we got to right. start doing things for the Because you know why I'm running? Right. You know why I'm running? Because it gives me a runner's high. Okay. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to chase that runner's high. I don't understand what that is. You got a runner's high, they said. Yeah, but that's not like yeah. smoking dope. Yes, it is. How do you know? Have you, you ever could, done it? Yeah, watch me. All right. He's well, going to fall flat on his face. You wish. Why do you got to be so negative about I'm everything, not, I'm not Perry. being negative. I'm just being factual. Perry, mm. I received this call this week, and I have some good news, but I want you to do this first. I want you to listen to this call, then I want you to review your movie, because we're going to do your movie review. Because I heard this, and I started talking to the bosses upstairs, because I'm getting the feeling you're not liking some of the movies they selected. Some of? Well, you like, of, you like milk. You bought that and kept it. That was like, one. there, there was only maybe two movies that I liked. Okay. It's funny that you like milk when you're lactose intolerant. <sighs> Why don't you play that message? Don, it's Perry. This movie, Fluffer. Dude, I am sick and tired of uh, doing these faggot film uh, movie reviews. Tell the guys upstairs, you know, the producers, the directors, whoever the fuck, in in uh in, upstairs in the office of uh the bakery podcast that i will not and i repeat will not review another faggot film again if i have to review another faggot film again there will be no more big three podcast with of course the scare master doing the best movie reviews in fucking southern california why can't i get a simple film like bambi or or uh, uh alice in wonderland or 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 fucking, um, I don't know, Star Wars or, or something simple. No, what, what do I have to get? I got to get these these B-rated, sick, perverted, disgusting faggot films to fucking uh, rate? Dude, get me away from these fucking movies and get me real films, all right? I mean, real films. Something that you'll see the school and Ebert rate, not fucking pornos gay pornos i you better tell these guys upstairs in the uh in the offices of the big three podcast that i am done with waiting faggot films thank you and i'm really not happy about 
this. I'm trying to be calm and nice, but I am not at all happy about this shit. Get it done or you're done with me. Period. Out. Hey. How Out. are you going to use your FF rating if you're done with those films? Well, I listened to that, Perry, and I heard what you said. I talked to the guys, and I got some good news for you. But before we go on, now they said that you were going to be doing the movie Flipper. That's what that. That's what Nick said. Yeah, well, that's what they Flipper. Said. All of a sudden, I, I get this movie, and it's called Fluffer. Okay, well, why don't you I, do your movie? And that's re- different from Flipper, right? It's why a lot you, different than why Flipper. You, why don't you do your movie review? I got into this. I turn on this this uh, faggot film called Fluffer. It opens up where this guy's this guy walks into a into a studio to meet the executive, who uh, and then all of a sudden, that uh, wants to suck his dick. Yeah, he said no. So I, I'm proud of him for saying no. Who did the, produ- the, the director? The, the, the um the the actor that uh, turned out to become the Fluffer. So wait but a the, second. Wait, the act- let me let me hold finish. on a second. The actor walked into the casting director, and the casting said, "Hey, I want to blow you. You jerk me off." And the guy said, "No." He didn't say jerk him off. He wanted him to suck his dick. Okay, but he said no. He said no. Oh right wow, away. wow. He so right away he says no. So you so you see that you're allowed to say no. Yeah. Okay. See, so there was a lesson learned from this. Movie. Eight minutes and fifty five seconds into the movie, I had to run into the bathroom and throw up. What? I had to run into the bathroom and throw up because what? the fucking guy went down on him. Who did? The the, the fluffer, the fluffer dude. <gasps> Wait a second. The the, the the fucking act. Well, I don't. I didn't. Do even... this movie have anything to do with dolphins at all? No. Okay. What about when the dolphins hit the shark? What in the dolphin? Ribs what dolphin? The sharks it was not the a fucking movie about fish. It was movies about cocksuckers, the gay fucking porn business, the gay fucking Hollywood. How to make it in this fucking town? How fucking rough it is to try to make it in this fucking town? Oh God! Okay, first off, dolphins aren't fish. You're right. Then, then uh, the, the one thing that I liked in this movie. I know was, the one thing you. No, liked you don't know yeah, what I liked I in this do. movie. <laughs> Mole, you guys, the, the, Mole, you may be wrong in this. The guy, the guy, one of the guys in this film, his name was Mikey, and he's Mikey. having sex with his girlfriend. Yeah. All right. And uh, he said that he loved her and shit. Then all of a sudden, she says she she starts a little fight with him, and she goes, "You know, the one thing that I can't stand is having sex with you after you fuck another guy in the ass." How much did you relate to this movie, if you did at all? Me? Yeah, beyond the obvious that you had to go to a casting agent and you that face you, some that, of the same things. That you lived that life. I didn't live any of this life. I lived none of this life. It's a fluffer film, faggot film, disgusting. Maybe be, maybe the the director in the film reminded me of you with a big fucking fluffy ass mustache that I've once saw you with at one time. I had a beard many you had a many beard, years ago. Yeah, some years so ago. that has nothing to do with the mustache. And I, and I saw you with a with a play mustache on one time too. Okay, there you go. Okay. So what did you think of the movie? It was disgusting. Would you suggest this movie to Nobody. anyone else? Nobody. Who do you think would like this movie? Faggots. Faggots. Only faggots. Is it good for holidays? I'm not answering that. And there What def- did you learn from it, though? What did you take away from it? What did I learn from it? To never watch it again. Yeah, but what, did you t- what lesson did you take away from I it? Le- I, I learned that I was losing about five pounds every time I'm throwing up. Because it was make it was making me throw up. How many times did you throw up? Three. Three. I don't believe you. How do you like that? Fine. I don't think you threw up even six I, times. I don't. I don't think you threw up at all. Fine. I don't. I don't care what you what you think. Okay. You and, want me to throw up? <laughs> no. And when I threw up at your house the couple times that I've been there over. Your I spaghetti. bet he did throw up three times. I bet he would bet on his father's life right now that he. Th- Threw up three times. Let me read to you how I how I wrote this out because it, it'll describe the movie a little okay. bit better. All right, from start. Okay, I wrote I wrote out. Uh, it opens where this guy this guy uh, wait. It opens where this young guy walks into a studio and meets with an executive that uh, wants to suck his cock. 
He said, no, I'm proud of him. But the film Fluffer just began eight minutes and 55 seconds ago. Disgusting. Some guy starts getting fucked in the ass. My manager, Nick, must must have been uh, sleeping when he when he was told that uh, that the the name of this uh, gay porn was Flipper. No, I was told it was Flipper, and I told him it was Flipper. He also wasn't uh, told told that it, it was uh, gay. Now, now this uh, fag okay, enough. is banking his enough, junk enough. in the film, asking the new guy to help him out. Quickly, he says, "Yeah, no problem." <laughs> What the fuck is this world coming to? 16 minutes and 28 seconds into the film. Mikey's girl just said, do you think I like your cock in me after you've been uh, shoving it up some guy's ass? Gross. Blah! I fucking puked on that one. Mikey's girl comes home. So uh, they, they wrestle. He says, I love you. She says, you're high. Because all, <laughs> all he does is work, work and suck guys' dicks. This is not a job. It's an adventure. You're, you're paid to be a faggot slob. Now I see Ron Jeremy in this. It's a porno. Okay. This movie, this movie. Ron Jeremy was in it? Yeah. He I was know in Ron. I love that dude. I, I know Ron too. Yeah. You know, he's he's and, and then I also saw Deborah Harry in the film too. Deborah Harry? Oh, yeah. then this sounds like a great movie. Deborah Harry was the uh, uh, a strip club manager because there was a chick in there that... Uh, they got pissed off at one of the uh, patrons of the strip club and, and uh, throws a drink Okay, the bottom face. line, this is going on forever. Either give me a good line from it or tell me the wrap-up. Go. The wrap-up. film sucked. film was disgusting. I, and if I am handed another faggot film, I'm going to throw it in your face. Well, I got some good news. Tell me. After your phone call, I talked to the bosses upstairs. And they said, well, tell us a movie he might be interested in. I said, I know he's in the fucking Greaseball Italians. <sighs> Christ. So what they did is they came up with this. And this week's movie that you're going to review, it's a good one. It's the trilogy of the movie The Godfather. So you're going to watch all three movies this week. I've got them all at home. Good. So I want you to watch them all, and you will do your review next week on The Godfather Trilogy. Okay. Okay, we got some ten dollars shutouts. It's a pretty, uh, and it's a pretty cool box. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Just shut up. Okay. This next segment we're gonna do is where you, the listener, can be part of the fun over here at the Big Three Podcast. All you have to do is send us a ten dollars. Thank you. No checks, no money orders, credit card, or any legal mumbo jumbo that you want to th- try to send us. It's ten dollars straight cash, homie. And you're going to send that $10 to 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 90046. $10 shout out. Don't reach your hand out. To the big three, Podfather Don, Master Mole, and the Butcher of the Big Three, a.k.a. Scaramello. As a former senior creative writer artist for the Marvel Comics, I know what is trendy and what is pop culture. You, my friend, you are pop culture. I'm proposing a new Big Three comic book. I have $150,000 to invest in this project, which can be split up any way you guys want to. I know you guys are very busy and you don't like written contracts. I propose the following. Don, if you're interested, then whisper, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Mole, if you're interested, then you'll say, yeah, dudes. Yeah, dudes. Perry, if you're interested... Then scream, no fucking way. Oh! No fucking way! Oh, 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 oh! Great. Assuming you all agreed, it's done. Issue 1, Volume 1 will be called Glory Holing with Perry and Randy. Hopefully you guys will have something in store for us on the 20th anniversary. I know I will. Yours truly, Reverend Chucky (sighs) Slavin. Slavin, I believe. Okay. Mole? By the way, we've been getting a lot of complaints of people that when you read one, Perry, you can't read where shit, and it takes forever, and they're very bored with it. 
people should write nice short ones for Scare yeah. Master. And I'm just saying, because now, like today, we have a bunch of them, and we got to get through this. So if you want to give a shout-out, which we really appreciate, they've got to be a little shorter. Maybe a paragraph, maybe a paragraph and a half. Okay. Okay, Um Greetings and salutations, Big Dose. I have wanted to write a personal shout out for a long time, but didn't have the balls until now. I want to sincerely apologize to you and the pod bosses. I am a whore for money. In my mind, money equals happiness. I can never have enough. I have made some huge mistakes in my life, and nothing compares to what I have done behind your backslash, backslash C word. I will deny writing this letter, but that comes. That's beside the point. Just don't get any lie detector ideas, you MFers. LOL. C-O-M-F-C-U. Do you know what I mean? Cream on me, heartbreaker, love maker. MF are going to mess around with you. Anyway, I've so pitched you both TMZ, except at $500 per autograph. You both walk in the sidewalk with open container, wine cooler in your hand. Finally, after making some money, I know what C tastes like. I actually love it. It just tastes like ice milk. It's decent, but oh, slightly sure. effed up. Let this $10 shout out money go to me because it's all money. Please forgive me, guys. I'm writing this letter because it's not up to my comic stand. Truthfully, Scary Fiery, PhD, dedicated professor of cream. I don't know what happened. What the <laughs> fuck was that all about? I don't know. We'll, we'll take their money, though. Uh, this is a $10 shout out. Dear Don Bear's Mole and Fairy Perry Caramello. I'm We'd like to start out once fag. again by writing that we are huge fans of the podcast. It's a great place to keep up on pop culture as well as learn about your own personal lives. After still no response from Perry or his life partner manager, Nick, regarding Perry. Perry's possible entrance into the Hair Club for Men chapter in Omaha, Nebraska. What? We can only speculate and conclude that Perry is ignoring us. And I'm a bad Not reader. because of his homosexual orientation, nor is it to the Christ-rejecting God as Satan. I'm not a fucking homosexual. It's Christ-rejecting, godless Satan worshiping Jehovah Christ Witnesses, God but rather a very serious, full-blown AIDS condition. It is not too late for Perry to save what he has life on his diminishing, dirty, filthy, disgusting, guinea, oh, yeah, Crisco-infused hair. Sure. We here at the Omaha, Nebraska Hair Club for Men are Stop well equipped to... Stop reading that piece of shit because it's fucking bullshit. It's a lie, it's gay, and I want nothing to do with it. Well, they go on to mention things about their Italiano 5000, which contains a built-in fanny pack. Uh, so there's a lot of Nothing things you don't want to hear like about mine. this. Their previous shout-outs were not meant to offend you, Perry. Uh, do you uh, still don't want me to go on? Uh, go on, finish the fucking thing. Uh, okay, I'll just, in closing, we'd like the $20 to be split amongst the big three. We don't mean to come off as desperate, but we'd hate to see Perry blow this opportunity in 2012 the same way he blew Randy Callahan in 1992. No, I didn't blow anybody. Sincerely, Tyler and Jared. This offer is to record an upcoming big three podcast at a local Omaha bar. Not going to happen. Okay, they said, P.S., the offer to record an upcoming Big Three podcast at a local Omaha bar sounds terrific to us. There are plenty of Irish pubs that Don Barris would love. Uh, because I'm Irish? Okay. Hookah bars where Walter Molininsky would feel right at home in quaint little places uh, named the manhole where Perry can get just the type of gratification he needs. So that's nice. Thank you. There Tyler are no fucking gay scenes to be done ever again! God damn it, I'm fucking If you wreck that, hey, sit down! They're talking about Omaha, dude. They're just I don't give a fuck, I'm fucking pissed! But they're talking Tired about... Of this right. shit. Read all this these one. motherfuckers want me to be gay? Read fuck this one, Perry. Perry. Here's another one. Here's another one. God damn it! Oh, you gotta be kidding. What's it say? To Randy Callahan, the best casting director in Hollywood, he gets the job done. Gavin. That's all he wrote? Give me the fucking thing. What are you doing? Give me the... You destroyed the letter from Gavin. You piece Christ. of fucking shit. Tampering with mail is a felony, dude. It really yeah, is. okay. All right. So is, child, so is trafficking child pornography. Let's see. Oh, God Almighty. All right. Get me out of here. Ten dollars shutout. Oh, dear Mary Jane. You want to read Mary Jane? It's to you. Dear Mary Jane, as president of the National Organization for Women, I am deeply concerned for your safety and well being. It is our understanding that your work with the Big Three podcast forces you to work in close proximity to one Perry. 
Caravello, a.k.a. Scary Perry. We at the National Organization for Women have a file on Mr. Caravello for many years. Now, due to his history of domestic abuse, but what? now, after listening to the podcast, we are shocked to learn that he has said and done other things that we find greatly disturbing and potentially dangerous for you. For example, we notice that Perry constantly degrades women on the podcast. What? Makes judgment about women based on their physical appearance. He also refers to something called step up punch, which we believe is an expression of his desire to hit women. On several occasions, he has also talked about wanting to rape both women and men, and he frequently jokes about the subject of rape. We have heard tales of his loitering in high school parking lots for the purpose of. It's st- a lie. Perry, are it's you trying to touch lie. me? Don't touch no, me. No, I'm putting the fucking hat back. Okay, finish this letter. We have heard tales of his loitering in high school parking lots for the purpose of staring at teenage girls. We also have learned that Perry screamed at you at the comedy store, and we heard you say that Perry sometimes frightens you when he gives you scary looks. All of this combined with his trafficking in child pornography and involvement in the death of a helpless child named Nathaniel makes us believe that Perry of Caravello is a dangerous person and a potential threat to you. Mary Jane, we would like very much to know whether you feel that you are in danger from Mr. Caravello or if you think his behavior has improved to the point where we we do not need to be concerned for your well-being. Perhaps you could ask Mr. Caravello to state for the record whether he has respect for women or whether not. He will stop being a male chauvinistic pig and disgusting sexual harasser of women. If there's anything we can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. We have a variety of confidential psychologists and medical services available for women in the event that you are harmed by Mr. Caravello in any way, shape, or form. We wish you the best and pray for your safety. Sincerely, Harriet Tubman. Okay. All right, here's another one. Greetings, Big Three, as the 20th anniversary... Excuse me. That is a complete lie. One. Two. This is my last show of all fucking time for this piece of shit podcast that pays me shit for money. And three, I'm done with this fucking show. You guys can fucking fly a kite. Harry, if you don't sit the fuck down, you're going to fucking walk out because if somebody's fucking doing a letter, fuck you. Hey, let, 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 let me, okay, let me read ahead. this one real quick. Greetings, Big Three. As the 20th anniversary of Perry's love affair with Randy Callahan approaches, I plan love to be affair? celebrating along with the other fans of the Big Three. Love affair? I don't know. The motherfucker raped me, motherfucker. Okay. I'm planning on sending a special delivery to Perry in celebration of this event. I have a big package that I know he will find thrilling. Now, that's nice. How much money's in that big fucking package? I don't know. Well, why don't you wait and see? However, balloons are involved as well as flowers, so I cannot have it delivered to his P.O. box. All right. So instead, I'm going to have the package sent to Perry's apartment. Can you confirm... For me, Perry's address is at 772 Not Reseda re- Boulevard. Also, could you kindly confirm to me Perry's phone number is 818-390-2999. That's the business line. Okay. This way, the delivery man can call Perry on the phone if necessary. Is it also possible that we might be able to deliver the package to Perry's home myself? Is there a lot of security at 7722 Reseda, or can we just oh, go so inside like the, fucking- the Villa La Pamela? What is it called? Villa La Paloma. Okay. And make my delivery to Perry's door. What apartment number is it? None of your business. Okay. So I guess you'll have to look. Please tell me what time of the day is good for Perry to be at home. If I knock on Perry's door and say that I've come to give him a big package for his anniversary of gays. (laughs) I did not have faggot sex with any of your Hold your fucking thing. Scare master. It, this guy is saying he wants to go over your house and do that with that you. That motherfucker can go fuck off. Okay, let me just read the end of the letter. That's all I ask. I've come to give him a big package for his anniversary of gay sex with Randy Kellen. Will he be hospitable it's to me? Not probably not. I'm just guessing probably not. Oh, then Will why he kindly let me come in his apartment and take a quick look at the Windy City Heat trophy? I would like to buy Perry town. dinner at Denny's. Ah! Why don't you go to the Boy, fucking would I like to see him unleash the fury at Denny's Slamburger on the side over a half brown. Exactly anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward here. to celebrating the 20th anniversary of Perry and Randy Callahan. Put his penis inside Perry's mouth. Anyway, I'm looking no for. Dick at, in my mouth! 
thereby launching Scaremaster's career. I hope that Perry will appreciate the long stem roses and penis shaped balloons I'm going to give him in honor of the momentous occasion. Thank you, dudes. Rock on. Danny Zuka. I'm out of town. Okay. All right. Perry, why don't you read this? I'm out of town for the month of June. All right. So in a few months, he won't be there, but up until then, he will. Read this one, Perry. Dear Big Three, before I start my uh, <clears throat> complaints, I want the entire $10 I include to give straight to Perry. Oh. And I want Perry to do, to be the, uh, the one that reads a shout out. <clears throat> Let me start by saying Perry of Caravello spelled with a C and never a K, pronounced Caravello, not Caramello is easily one of the greatest comics and actors that the world has ever seen. Oh, that's very nice. That is very he nice. He truly holds the uh, title biggest in the biz- biggest in the business. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see. That That being said, I enjoy the Big Three podcast, but it is nowhere near what it could be. Explanation point, explanation point for like an inch and a half. All right. Uh, for one, Don and Mole should stop bringing up the Randy Callahan incident. We don't bring it, it up. It was no, I never almost do. 20 never years it ago. It's not me. And I'm no real mistaken. big three fan wants to hear about it. Thank you. I'm tired and to of set the record straight, Perry did not blow Randy. And, his, uh, and has since never done anything remotely faggotish. Or faggish. Also, I want Don and Mole to stop trying to make Perry look like a big homo I don't, all the I time. Do that. Who, how can we do that? We all know that Perry likes women and women only. Adult women, as that Perry never hung out inside a, a junior high school to, to, to stare at women. Two, I am the most... Two, I am and most fans are sick of being denied... Uh, Perry's Corner, the best part of the show. Also, it is uh, it it is bullshit that Perry is no longer allowed to sell his American-made skateboards. Yeah, talking about that, I need to sell ten decks this week, or there is no show forever again. Which are may which are way better than Tim's China boards, and Perry's boards are real. Oh 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 oh! Amer- Amer- blah. Perry's American-made boards are 100% Canadian hard rock maple. Can be purchased at www.scaryperryproductions.com forward slash skateboard. Did you write this, Scary No, Master? I didn't write this. Somebody, did, somebody wrote it for me. Uh, Who was three. That? I Who have was? no clue. I think you do. Who was Three. It? Perry is the heart, soul, liver, kidneys, brains. And vocal cords are the big three. From now on, I think Perry should get all the funds and monies made off the podcast, plus a well overdue residual check for all the <laughs> DVDs and Blu-rays of Windy City Heat that have been sold. Also, Perry should give Perry should be given a ten point five million dollar hmm, check and contract. For at least eight more movie deals. Very nice. I like this. For the podcast should... Wait. For the podcast should be renamed Perry and Friends. And Perry should be given Bullshit. all you creative... Con- I never wrote it's this. Kinda, wrote it's kind of... Perry should be given it's all creative control over the podcast and actions of, of Perry and Friends. Can we be the, the friends? formally... Known as the Big Three, Perry should also get and have all the funds from the ten dollars shoutouts. What? Five. Uh, Tootsie Roll, Tim and uh, Rucka Rucka, Fagley. <laughs> this sounds like something. Rucka you Rucka write. Fagley instead of Ali. Uh, should should never be allowed. Should never be allowed on or mention. On the show, unless it is apologize, uh, wait, unless it is to apologize to Perry. Also, Don and Mole should apologize to Perry for riding his coattails all these years. What? 
Donna's just a bitch and a warm act. A warm you up don't act. even have coattails. You have that leather jacket. <laughs> he, <laughs> he needs to kiss Perry's ass and please, Don, no one wants to see uh, nor hear about your obnoxiously large, skanky penis that, all, that, that only nasty strippers, chicks, like mole is is not a human. Wait, 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 what's this? Let me read that line again. To see no wait to see nor hear about your obnoxiously large skanky penis that only nasty stripper chicks like. Explanation point explanation point another inch and a half. Mole is not a human being. He he ruined a windy city heat by knocking over the table. And making the big three do business with a perverted slave named Yergi. Windy City Heat, uh, chances at an Oscar or sequel, was killed when Mole knocked over the table. Not true. Bringing Yergi into Not the true. movie deal. Finally, Perry take, uh, takes way too much shit from Don and Mole. I am a great actor and I deserve better than this. Oh, oh, oh! Somebody said sign PFC. Oh! <laughs> and I didn't write it. You did write this. Well, I, I did I did not write it. I can't believe that. I did not write that. You've but done somebody some, you've done some Somebody stuff that before. that put that together for me, I thank from the bottom of my heart and it means everything to Wait me. A that, that look means at a the lot. look at the return address. 7722 Receda Boulevard. Let me see the envelope. 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 You're looking at the envelope right here. I'm not going to let you because you'll destroy it. No, I won't. No, I won't. Okay. Now, Perry, <sighs> you are now screaming at me saying you're going to quit the show. Today, I've done two things beyond the call of fucking duty. I went to the bosses upstairs and I said, you know what? Enough of these gay movies. Perry's having a problem with it. Let's get something that Perry might like. And what are Thank you doing you now? God- All right. Thank so I did Godfather. that. So now you're going to do the Godfather trilogy for your movie review this week. Okay. And then I've got something else. Stay right here for one second. Wait, oh, did you have another letter? Yeah. Why don't you read the contract the last for letter? the for the new TV show? Shut baby? up! Shut up! Read the last letter. Okay, here's the last letter. Dear three of big, blessings to West of Hollywood, blessings to Adams, John Quincy, and Mol Insky for deliverance and realization of podcast to Mumbai, India. No much blessing to report. Your show is number one Mumbai podcast. Many loves and blessings of for three of big in Mumbai, India. Children of street wear black hat and garbage bag clothes for look like Perry Carve. Or I have earned much rupee selling black hat and garbage bag. Much thanks to Adams JC and Molinsky for likeness rights. For Prevy Cavello. Big up three rights for sell not. Prevy Carvel. All face rights for sell yes. Sell for most blessed price. This is weird, man. I think I know where it's from. Price of seven fi- 75000 Indian rupee for likeness right. Price of American $10 included in letter. No, I hold my image of Caravello and Mumbai and all of India. Mut rupee made from sell of image. Many blessings for a great bargain. Much money to be made for me. Molinsky, Adam JC, welcome in Mumbai. Dan, Dallas of Dallas and Green Mary, welcome in Mumbai. Caravello, not welcome in Mumbai. We don't like... If, if, uh, we don't like the... The F word. I'm not going to say it because he goes crazy. Much blessings. Sashin Little Feather, Mumbai, India. That's weird. What? And here he is. And that was today's $10 shout out. $10 shout out. Mole, when you were in India recently, is that when you met the dude that wrote that $10 shout out? I met these kids in India. They were the. um. Oh, I... they sent a picture too, yeah. I see. Yeah, here they are. They're like in that movie. Uh, Waterworld. Those Indian kids are like the little rascals. Are they? Yeah. Except they don't have any dogs because they got to eat them. There's no Petey. Now, Perry, you seem to have a lot of problems for some reason. Now, I want to help you resolve some of these problems. I want you happy. Thank you. Like earlier, you had a problem with the movies that the bosses from upstairs were selecting for your movie review. I talked to them, and did I help you? Yes. I got a movie that you'd like. Thank you. Well, you've also had some problems with our fans. That's not good. And there's one in particular that I want your war with to be over. 
and I want that war over today. So I bring to the podcast for the first time, he's written two songs involving you. you James Taylor? Funny. What did you say, Mo? James Taylor? James no, it's not Taylor. James Taylor. Rucka Rucka Ali. That's who it is. Whoa, Rucka no Rucka way. Ali. Come on in, Rucka. Oh, shit. What's up? <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. Hello, hey. Whoa. Oh, Rucka, shit. Rucka, Ali. What's Rucka, happening? Rucka, Ali. You really am. Holy yes, cow. Here you you flew him in here from Detroit, didn't you? No, he's out here. Why are you out here, Rucka? Hey, yo, I'm in town. Flew into L.A. to record my new fucking album. Where are you recording? You're recording over at Capitol Records, right? Yeah, Capitol Records. Very what, nice. And also, from what I understand, you talked to some people over at the Rolling Stone magazine, huh? Yeah, I've been talking to them. You know, they. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be on the cover. That's a bit of a Fuck yeah. wishful thinking. Good for but you. When, you Good know, for we, you. When you work hard. Wow. Man, just what a meteoric rise. Just from starting and, and just clawing his way up and singing about true stories, real stories you know, in I've American been, Heartland. I've been telling the truth, trying to be professional, always. Uh, talking shit about me. No, you, per- nah, you talk shit about me. I mean, let's talking just, shit about me. For the calling record. me a fucking. Who talk nation. shit? Fuck you, you punk. I didn't do shit. I turn on your podcast and you're talking shit about me. Uh, in in a way. Oh, and then he's writing a song. Perry's got AIDS. Perry's got no, AIDS. No, that's not. That ain't even a song of mine. You think it's somebody else? I don't got a song. Goes Perry got AIDS. He's got Yo Perry. He's yeah. got uh, Perry's gay. Those are the two songs. Well, where the fuck do you get off thinking that I have thinking? What about Matt calling tonight? What about Matt calling you to talk about your relationship with him tonight? That's how our show started, Rucka, with one of his... Some uh, fucking fan calls me up uh, on, yeah. on the street and then says that he wants to call back in a half hour mm-hmm. on the show. And then he started some shit. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations where? You're finally yeah, I'm not getting a paycheck. You are, motherfucker. I work for my fucking money. So do I, you fucking bitch. What you know how many fucking copies of Yo Perry I had to sell to pay fucking rent? Yeah. I don't give a fuck how many copies you have to pay to sell Yo Perry to pay your you know fucking rent. You know it's great, Scaremaster. You want to know what makes me sick? Is that me? you're making a dollar bill or a fucking penny off of Yo Perry or off of any it's a good song, song. Why would that you... you're fucking making fun of me and talking shit yeah, that's a club about hit. me, bitch. It's like, it works in the clubs? Yeah, oh, they uh, eating that shit up in Pontiac, Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Warren, Saginaw, wow. everybody loving that Saginaw shit. Township. That's yeah. my people. Oh, uh, I went to my homeboys. That's where I'm from. Yeah. I did not know that it was a dance hit. Oh my yeah, God. everybody like... Perry Caravello has a HIV. Yeah, oh, dude, you gotta like That's the clubs in Southfield, wrong, Scaremaster. Bitch. That's fucking wrong, you bitch. Why? Wh- because I don't have HIV. But the crowd I'll is pumping. The crowd is pumping. I'll never up here. have it. They don't There's care. not gonna be a cocksucker. Crowd doesn't care. Dancing. A- if you feel the beat, that's all that matters. Perry Caravello has HIV. HIV. Yo, Perry. Oh, Rucka really? Rucka's got HIV. Nah, that th- that, I don't know if that really works. You know, By my, the way, we got can, my I, producer. can I tell you a little funny story? Yeah. After you came out with one of your songs, Perry thought it would be smart to pay someone $500 to write him a rap song. Do a little of it, Perry. Do you remember? I don't have any of it. Do you remember lyrics? any oh, of it? Yeah, but bust no. Bust, 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 oh, man, what you got? Spit. I don't have it with me. Come on, man. We might be able to get you a deal. You know what I'm saying? Come down to Capitol. Oh, shit. If you had one shot. Would you take it? Um, Or just fuck it up? Well, right now, I'm, I'd be fucking it just up. Just do the I, fucking song. I don't know the fucking He's, lyrics. We just asshole. told you the fucking lyrics. I'm Scary Perry Caravello. I'm from Chicago, so you know I'm a good fellow. Do you know the rest of the fucking going, he's song? Going, he's going. Now you just bust it out. Yeah, man, yeah. come on. Just freestyle. bust the freestyle. Go. Yo. Scary Perry <laughs> Caravello. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, so you know I'm a good <laughs> fellow. Yeah. What? I, I, no, I don't okay. remember the whole fucking... All right, well, uh, that really wasn't worth $500. My dick's often mistaken for a chicken McNugget. McNugget. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I saw did. that you brought part of your entourage here. Yeah, they brought yo, a guitar. This what? DJ Easy Stacks. This guy, this guy. I mean, don't you know? Don't bother him. But this guy's the CEO of all Pine Grove Records. The really? whole entire. Whoa. Holy shit! This, I mean, if you want to make is an he here right now? Then yeah, yeah. Yo. Bring him in. Yo, Stacks. Yeah, right up. What up? Wow, look CEO at this. of Pine Grove, dude. They've got You're everybody. You're fucking high school. Oh, uh, what? 
Now, I see that you brought your guitar here, and you know what might be kind of fun? I don't know if you, you could do this, but I go would like Go fishing? You, why would you say go fishing? It's kind of fun. Yeah, but why, what would that have to do with a guitar if and everything If we were all else? going fishing right now, that would be awesome. In, I'm not a, a fisherman. Okay. Nice. That's not fun unless you're do it out there. Fishing. Okay, that's not what I was talking about anyway. What I was thinking, maybe you could do an acoustic version of Yo Perry. What do you oh. think, Rucka? Yeah, oh, yo, let's yeah. bring down Simply Don Rucka Rucka collaboration. Oh, shit. Rucka Rucka acoustic. Let's do this shit. Oh, shit. This one in memory you of the You should be black, victory. motherfucker. Shut up. You got a problem with black people. Fuck you. Back before you started shit, yeah. I was down with you, but now you fuck with ruckus, knuckers, nah. I won't clown with you. Up inside your mansion, fat bitch, a sandwich you. Randy Callahan, bust it off in your hand with you. What you got in your hat full of tricks? Probably lube in a bag full of dicks. Could be one, maybe two, maybe six. Chuck in dicks since 96. Head full of candy for the candy tricks. Nobody really knows who you is. Nobody knows you in the biz. He don't take shits, but he takes a fist. Fuck Perry, it's the new big three. I'm Barris! Rucka Rucka Ali! Fuck All my knuckles up in Cali, beat your ass for me! Perry Caravello has HIV! HIV. Yo, Yo Perry! Me. Stay the fuck away from me! Yo, Yo Perry. Perry! No, you can't suck my D! Yo, Yo Perry! Me. I don't care if you do it for free! Don't make a scene, B! This between your moms and me! Ha ah, shit! Pay 500 bucks, you get some rhymes like that, motherfucker. Hey, cunt, stop dreaming. Don't be talking shit. You go, everybody gonna hear you on the internet. You can get Ruckus Knuckles to come beat your ass. Oh, you're gonna, ah. you're gonna come kiss my ass. Hi, my name is Perry, and I like to say fuck it. My dick's often mistaken for a chicken McNugget. <laughs> Cookie Caramello gave the Navy boys dough. Grandpa Caravello dated Al Capone. Hop up in my minivan, call me Randy Callahan, terrifying Tim, single-handedly kill a Taliban. Everybody knows Perry rapes, hoes, toes, fat, gay, grease, ball, dirty, ass, Italian. Fuck Perry, it's the new big three. Ball. Oh, Tom Barris. Rucka, Rucka, Ali, and all my knuckles up in Kelly, beat your ass for me. Perry Caravello has a giant. Sorry, Yo, Perry. Fuck away from me. Stay the Yo, fuck away Perry. From me, no, you can't suck my D. Yo, Perry. I don't fuck care if you do it for free. Don't friend. make a scene beating this between your moms and me. Peace. You suck. Fuck you. You suck. Fuck you. Go back to Detroit and fucking make a fucking American made piece of shit car. Oh, you talking shit about Ford? You want to get shot? Why don't you come out to Detroit, motherfucker? Yeah, it's a Fix the repair it's a daily. You scared. You scared to come to Detroit. You a fucking bitch ass motherfucker. Always uh, talking you shit. You don't do that. Oh, I'm from Chicago. Oh, boy. Like the musical. Fuck you. You want to start some shit? Huh? He's Go right, walk. dude. You can uh, look, He's I got right. You can't spit rhymes like go. I spit. That right there is some hip hop. You what don't do you know mean? shit. No, I'm not. What are you talking about, Perry? You're done. What do you mean? You're... Here. here comes the retaliation. Oh. Hit it. Retaliation? Hit it, hit it. Yo, oh shit. Let me tell you, you something, what punk. You what you got? Hey, I'm Scary Perry Caravello. Yeah. I come from Chi Town, because you know I'm a good fellow. Oh, okay. I'm Scary Perry Caravello. You already told me that. Dude, I got a 10 incher. What? And that's, that's not because no. I'm the good fellow. Well, you went right I mean, to gay shit? What? <laughs> what? Oh, fuck. Why no, would no, you threaten no, no, with yo, you? Yo, no, yo, no, yo, no, yo, no, yo, no, yo, no, 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 you want to talk fuck to that, him about fuck your that, wow, fuck that's that. That's really a weird thing. You just said on international radio you're into gay shit, and I'm the one that's talking shit. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Hey, I'm from Chicago. I'm a good fella. And let me tell you about my penis. No, 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 no. You really I, did, I, Perry. I yeah, yeah. Wrong. I don't. Yeah, I you said did. That wrong. Well, whatever I said you that did. Wrong. Wow, wow. I'm now known just, for like. Wow. That's the way you come uh, back I mean, and I need my girls oh, here. Boy. Oh, I'm, oh I'm boy. Oh boy. Wow. You're really I feeling I something special happened, about Rock and Rock. Linda. Yeah. Look at him Wait, who, crying. What? Out. He's wow, crying out people. Linda I think he's really attracted. Whoa. Hey, scare mask. You want to try that? Want to try to take it one more time and make it less about your penis? Oh God. You have just one don't shot. talk about just don't talk about your penis. Oh fuck. Here we go. And maybe hey, you know what we could do? Keep it going a little bit. Keep that rhythm. But you know what? Also try to throw in something about what the huck. 
some of the finest. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to challenge him. My name is Scary Perry Caravello. I hail from Chi Town, so you know I'm a good fellow. The name is Scary Perry Caravello. I get the best Thai food from What the Huck, fellow. That's What the Huck, 323 654 7952. I gave you some passes over to What the Huck. What'd yeah. you think of that? Yo, that's some good shit, man. I went down there with my man, uh, DJ Not Nice. Man, we got some chicken fried rice, beef tofu. They got Very all the Thai food you need there. They got some dishes there that are awesome. He makes some specialty dishes. Oh, I'd like to taste that yeah, sometime. Yeah, we should get one, and Scare Master, Scare Master should try him. He should be our food critic. He's the Would I you Italian. do that? Sure, I'd be a food critic. Okay, so that's What the Huck, 323-654-7952. What the Huck. Okay. For the finest in Thai cuisine. Also, I want to say this real quick. You know, we got great sponsors. ASM Plumbing and Porn is your one stop for all your plumbing and your hardcore man on man porn concerns. That's ASM Plumbing and Porn, 440 731 9338. But, you know, don't take my word for it. Whose word should they take, Rucka? A true American hero. Fuck yeah. The motherfucker that single handedly took down the most evil motherfucker fucking around, flying. Planes into buildings and shit. What kind of shit is that? Well, you know what? I got to tell you, I don't think Scaremaster respects him because he doesn't care about that stuff because he hates America. Shut up, you, you fucking... You do. You're the if one I hated America, hate America, my products wouldn't say made in America. Okay. You, you don't know, care about it. Fuck, fuck you. You don't care about America. I think that he's more upset anthem. about the fact that... You know, the, not the American thing because he's an American hero. I think he's madder because... Terrifying Tim Probedic is a skateboard enthusiast. He's a punk. I'm the leader of this fucking town. You are? I'm the leader. All right, well, that's two guys from Michigan. Who do you hear more about skateboards? Terrifying Tim. That's my oh, shit. Oh, God. Go fuck off, you know? You're no shit. Tony Alba fucking started the biz with with uh, Stacy and fucking Jay Adams. What the fuck are you talking about? Guys from the 70s. You're just talking shit. You weren't even born yet, you fuck. fucking okay, guys, guys. Rucka, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, Perry. Rucka, Perry, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, stop, Rucka, stop, Rucka, Perry, Rucka, stop. Okay, we're in the middle of a commercial, and I don't know how God much damn. the Now you piss me off. Let's hear the words and wisdom of Mr. Terrifying Tim Perpetic. Hi, I'm Terrifying Tim for ASM Plumbing and Porn. You want hot man-on-man films and hot knots plumbing and piping? Call ASM. Now, I may not be nearly as gay as their last spokesman, but I do know quality corn only when I see it. Let's unclog some pipes! Ooh, 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 ooh. ASM Plumbing and Porn. Tell them Terrifying Tim sent you. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's ASM Plumbing and Porn, 440-731-9338. Buck us on my band last night. What'd you think? That was some real shit. That right there. We, we might be able to uh, talk to you about some Pine Grove. Uh, <laughs> the Barris Kennedy Overdrive. Collaboration. You saw it last night. Yeah. Well, okay. That is music. We're going to wrap things up here, and I don't know. You're a fan of the podcast, right, Rucka? Yeah. That's my shit. What do you think is the best thing we do on this show? Well, I got to be honest. I think uh, I think it would probably be Mole Play. Oh, well, I'll tell wow. you this. That's awesome. what more wow. people say than anything else. They love Mole Play wow. to death. It's time. Here it is. It's time for another Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! All right, now, if you've never heard our show before... A mole play is an improv game that we play here. But mole, let me ask you something. I don't really quite know. I know at one point legally we had to say <laughs> something before we went into this. And I'm always confused because I always ask you, but you never give me a, a real answer. Do we still have to say something before we play mole play? Well, no, but we can't call it mole play anymore. We have to call it playtime with mole. But we already have the song. Yeah, I know. But it's uh, we'll work. We'll figure it out. I, you, I don't know. There's some pending like um litigation now mole play is an improv game that we play here this is where mole will take a situation or he'll write a, a scenario maybe something that has happened earlier in today he'll set the scene he'll cast the scene then he directs it mole what are we going to do on today's mole play well you know earlier we had a letter from a gentleman from marvel comics which really got us excited and got us thinking that if we're a comic strip we're going to eventually have to be a movie like the X-Men movie, so let's 
Tickets now to the first exciting X-Men type big three movie, Glory Hole Adventures with Randy Callahan. Yes. Right. Okay, so Scaremaster, you're going to play yourself. We're backstage at a Rocker Rocker concert. Place is packed. It's jammed because it's Detroit and the place is going crazy. We make our way through the crowd up to the front. And there's the uh, president of Pine Grove Records that shoes us into his uh, back door. And we get right in. The big three get ushered in the back. And it's wall to wall. High girls from Guy Talk. And uh, Scaremaster walks in when suddenly he sees Randy Callahan. who's And I fucking punch him right in the wait fucking second, face. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'll fucking put. I'll deck, the sh- I'll deck that motherfucker. Wait a second. I'll, and I, now I'm not going to deck you. Okay. The, the, the real Randy Callahan, okay. right. the motherfucker right. that went to Go jail. Ahead. Let's Stop. see what he says. Right, listen, Scaremaster knows this isn't the place to punch Randy Callahan. Now's the time for forgiveness to be a bigger person. He's going to teach a lesson because he's got superpowers. And he wants to teach a lesson to the kids about about moving on and forgiveness. So he goes over and, he's, and he sits next to Randy Callahan. Scaremaster, you're going to play forgiveness? yourself. Forgiveness? Dan, you're Randy. Fuck I, you. I'm not sitting next to that you're, fucking You're uh, Randy Cavaluti. Uh, Rocky, you play yourself and the president of Pine Grove Records. You guys ready? Oh, my God. And Scaremaster and Scaremaster looks over. He sees Randy Callahan. Um, Mole, Mole points him out. And playtime with Mole. Oh, are you a face from the past? You're Mr. Get the pa- fuck away from me. My name's Randy. Do you remember me? I don't want to remember mm-hmm. you. Can I tell you something, Perry? It was 20 years ago. And I've never been jerked off better. I am not talking about this fucking subject. It's mole play. You got it. I'm not talking about it. Something that ru- makes me sick. So Rucker Rucker comes off stage and sees the sees the melee. Yo, what the fuck's going on here? Why are you starting shit? I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Randy Callahan. Oh, how you doing, man? Welcome nice to, to the show. You. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to have you here. Pleasure. This is Scary Perry Caravello. I don't know if you know, but 20 years ago... I let him suck me off. For real? Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay. Hey, you guys, over here. You guys want anything from the concession stand? Hey, hey you're his me. old buddy from 20 years ago. I just told him that no one has ever sucked me off better than he did. No, that's not what happened. You blew him. He, he jerked you off. That's right. Nobody gave me a better hand job. Can I say I'm sorry? Will you forgive me ever? No, there's no forgiveness for a fucking asshole that fucked me over... Like you, the one that put that shit through my mind and, and, and fucking made me want to kill myself the way you have. And that's playing with Maul. Maul play, Maul play, let's play Maul play. Maul play, Maul play, let's play Maul play. Maul play! If you want to get in touch with us on the social network, I'm uh, at Simply Don One on Twitter. You are Scary Perry eight one eight on Twitter. And uh, are you on Twitter? Yeah, Rucka Rucka Ali. Uh, okay, and uh, on Facebook, I'm at Don Barris. Facebook. And you are at Perry F. F. Caravello. That's K A R C A R is in car. A V is in victory. Double L O. Walter Molinensky. And it's Scary Perry three two three. Perry, Perry, two, three. And do you have a Facebook page? Rocka Rocka Ali. Don't forget, if you want to get in touch with Tim Perpetic, he's also on Facebook there. Uh, guys, let's put it there. Uh, put it out there. Everybody, Do put it out big. there.